Hi, so in this video we are going to take two solved examples based on conditional probability. So as you can see I have noted down one statement over here. So let's try and solve it. It's a very simple problem. Consider the experiment of throwing a die. If we throw a die, there can be total six outcomes. One, two, three, four, five and six. If the multiple of three comes up, that means if three or six comes up, throw a die again. Right? If we throw a die again, again we will get total 6 outcomes for each of these outcomes. Right? Here again we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Here also we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. And if any other number comes up, toss a coin. That means for this 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 we have to toss a coin. Right? So if we toss a coin at this level, we can get two outcomes, heads or tails. Here also we can get either a head or tail. Here also we can get either a head or tail. Right? And here also we can get either head or tail. Now what we have to do? Find the conditional probability of the event. The coin shows a tail given that at least one die shows a three. Right? We have to find the probability of getting at least one tail when we have at least one die showing three over it. So which are the places where we can get a three? One is this, another is this and we have one more which is here. Right? These are the three outcomes where we can get a three on the die. But if you see this tree properly, this becomes our oral question because in these three places we are actually not tossing a coin. When we get a three in the first step, we are rolling a die again, right? And we are tossing the coins when we get either one, two, four or five, right? So it is not possible to get a tail and a three. So straight away the probability over here will be zero. Right? Because there is not even a single outcome where you can get a tail and a three as well. So this becomes an oral question. And now let's solve the second problem. So let me erase this. So here we have a second problem. So this problem statement says, given that the two numbers appearing on throwing two dice are different, find the probability of the event the sum of the numbers on the dice is four. Right? So if you are throwing two dice, there will be total 6 multiplied by 6, that is 36 outcomes. And what we have to find? We have to find the probability of event where the sum of the numbers on the dice is 4. That means the event A is defined as sum of the numbers on dice is 4. Right? And the event B, which has already happened, is defined as the numbers appearing are different. So here when we throw two dice the solution space actually has total 36 outcomes right but the set B will not have outcomes like 1 and 1 both dice showing 1 or both dice showing 2 or the both dice showing 3 or both of them are showing 4 or both of them are showing 5 or both of them are showing 6 right these 6 outcomes are not there in the event B so the cardinal number of event B will actually be 36 minus 6 that is 30 and when we talk about throwing two dice we have total 36 outcomes and all of them are equal probable that we have to remember the probability of each combination is 1 by 36 right and when we talk about event A the sum of the numbers on dice is 4 so when we talk about the sum of the numbers on dice is 4 the set A will have elements like 1 and 3 then it can have 3 and 1 and it can have 2 and 2. But when we talk about the set A intersection B, this 2 and 2 will not be there because this element is not there in set B. The outcome where both the dice are showing the same number is not counted in the event B, right? So A intersection B will actually have elements like 
1 and 3 and 3 and 1. These are the only two outcomes where the sum is 4 and the two dice are not showing the same number. And the, the probability of event A happening where B has already occurred is actually equal to the probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So the probability of A intersection B will be actually equal to 2 out of 36 and the probability of B is actually 30 out of 36, right? That means the probability of event A happening where B has already occurred will actually be equal to 2 by 36 divided by 30 by 36 and this will be equal to 2 by 30 that is 1 by 15 right so there are 1 out of 15 chances where you get the sum of the numbers shown on two dice is equal to 4 where both the dices are showing different numbers right so this is the second problem for this video and after this we'll be learning few new concepts about probability so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then